Today I gonna demonstrate mobile menu widget. In a mobile menu widget, you can design a mobile menu like these icons. Like it, it's it's like a mobile applications where you have offset. You can see the off canvas like this. You can see the icons. You can see the active icons color. You can see a dot for an active icon. There are lots of different layouts and possibilities. You can see the swiper over here. You can see the fixed one swiper menu. You can see the field like icons on the top. You also can make menu like this. For this, we have used a circle menu, and we already have a video for a circle menu. Look at the these styles. So these are the options are available in a mobile menu. Let's look into the Elementor and how it's made. If you go to the Elementor, you need to find out a mobile menu widget. You can search mobile menu widget, and you will find out. Once you get into the mobile menu widget, there is two styles. Style one and style two. In a style one, there is all the icons in a straight row, and in a style two, there is a two menu, one in a right and one in a left, and in the center there is the extra toggle bar. Let's look into the position options where you can choose its absolute or the fixed. If you choose the fixed, it will be stay in the bottom, or you can put that on the top. So for a demo, let's keep that absolute. Then you have option for an open mobile menu. This is the responsive value. That means after the seven, six, eight pixels screen size, you will see the mobile menu. Until that, you will not see the mobile menu. You can use same options from responsive settings as well. Also. Just a second. Let's get back to. Yes. Now let's go to the menu one. As we have selected style two, if we select style one, there will be just menu one. Now we are selecting a style two. Then there is a menu one and menu two. In a menu item one, you can select icon or the image for this part. Then you have option for the text. If you put text over here, you will see the text down below. Then you have option for the link and the pin text. What is the pin text? Pin text is something like this. This one. In here, you have put pin text. Here you can see the value two. You can put the any words or any letters, whatsoever you as per your needs. So let's keep it as it was. Now, so this is the repeater, and you can add as many as you want. After that, you have option for the extra toggle bar. If you don't want that, you can turn it off. It will go away if you enable it. You have option to select a toggle icon. You can select from the icon or for as an image. In an icon, you can select from the multiple options over here from the icon library of Elementor. Then you have option for the text as well. Then, as a content, you can select any link or any template. Like if you select template, you can use Elementor template over here from your Elementor template collections. After that, you have option for the content direction. Once you click on that, from which direction you want to show the content. So, in a, in this example, let's look at the example. Yes, you can see that it's coming from the top, and there are two different styles: style one and style two. Both have a different effects. After that, you have option for the content width. You can make it a full width, 
or a custom width and height. If you select a custom width and height, you can adjust the width and height value from this option. So let's keep it full width and that option is responsive as well. So you can adjust that in a different devices. After that, in extra options, you have option for the columns or for a swiper. If you are selecting a swiper, you can see the option like this, where you can swipe through your menus. And if you select a column, it will equally divide in a columns by itself. Right? You can select a columns or you can select a swiper. If you select a column, you can adjust the columns as well, like in a mobile or in a desktop, how many columns do you want? You can adjust that value from this option. After that, you have option to show active page indicator. If you don't want, you can disable it. And if you want, you can enable that. If you enable that, you will have option to select a style, dot or a line. Let's see. As we can see on a live site, in the back end, you cannot see this. So for that, you need to go to the live site because in the back end, it will not take an active URL as a live page. So for example, in layout 3, there is a dot style, which you can select from this option, a dot. You also can adjust its position, its offset value and everything from these options. After that, you have option for the pin text overflow. You can select it hidden or visible. In a style tab, if you have selected an icon or image, you can adjust their size. Let's get back to our section. Yes, you can find out the size of icon. You can change their colors for a normal and active state. After that, if you have selected image, then you can adjust its size from this option. After that, you have option for the border as well. Like if you want to put a border, you can adjust the border using these options. Like you can select the border. Once you select, it will visible on a front end. You also have a border radius and box head options, which you can put over the icon. Then there is the option for the extra toggle icon image style. That means it's all about this extra toggle bar. In that, you can adjust the its icon. If you have selected image, then you can adjust its size, its border, border radius and box shadow. If you want a box shadow around it, you can adjust that using this value. You can put that inside or the outside. After that, you have an active page indicator style in which you can select the size and the color. In a menu style, you can adjust the outer padding. Right. Then you also have a title typography, title colors, extra toggle title color, background colors, border and box shadow options, which are available for the normal and active state. In an extra toggle style, you can adjust the extra toggle equal a height and width. By this, if you want a circle or a proper square layout, you need to enable this option so you can get a proper circle. But if you are using the columns and you are using the extra toggle bar as a column, you need to turn this option off. For example, if you are making something like this layout, you cannot make it like that. Just a second. Yes, you can make it, you cannot make it equal height and width. Either it will change the layout of that particular extra toggle bar. So let's get back to the layout one. In an extra toggle bar, you also have an option for the extra toggle size they are offset so you can put it down or up like you can see this is out of the menu item so you can adjust those by the toggle offset you can adjust their background color you also have border and box shadow options available here 
here you can adjust extra toggle template style which you can put the hidden overflow or overflow visible you can adjust the inner padding background color box shadow you also have all the options related close icon style you can adjust its position or top right top left or whatsoever then you have all the colors of that close icon you can put the background color icon color for normal and for the whole state you also have box shadow option over there then you have option for the overlay style for the background you can adjust the background color for the whole in a content background style you can adjust the fading background color border border radius overflow and the box shadow options in a pin text option you again have a fading their offset so you can adjust the offset value of that pin text options let's see here it is you can adjust their fading and offset values their text size text color a background its border border radius and the box shadow options in a extra option you can show mobile menu scroll offset that means if you want to show the mobile menu after few offset that means if you want to show your mobile menu after the 100 pixel or 700 pixel or whatsoever you can adjust that value from this option so these are the options are available in a mobile menu widget of the plus add-ons thanks for watching and keep crafting amazing websites see you in the next video